Well, good day, Max there again. Welcome back to the shop. Well, we'll head over to the block and we'll uh, progress a bit more on the new shop. I think we've got a bit of cutting and some bits and pieces, so we'll just give you a quick run through of our shop progress on the new shop build. And at the end of the day, we called in and had a look at another machine, another lathe for the shop. So we'll uh, put a couple of photos of that in at the end. So let's head over to the new shop. Okay, time for another update. So we've got all our veranda footings three quarters back filled and all compacted down. So the rest of the fill will go in there at a later date when we make a final decision on whether we're going to concrete through here or brick pave or what we're going to do. So we had a uh, steel delivery yesterday. So we've got the steel here for the portal framework and for all of the girts. So that's our project for over Christmas. So I've made up a couple of drilling and cutting jigs so we can get all the uh, angles cut on the ends. And we'll show you them in a sec. Oh, this is the poo shed. So this is a safe place to get out of the sun. So we're going to do all our cutting and drilling in here. We call it the poo shed because this is where the wife normally stores her trailer load of zoo poo. So I've made this template up to cut the 14 degree angle, uh, which is the pitch of the roof. So we just line this up on the end, we draw a line and we cut through there. So we do all that to all of them, all 12, and then we will get on to the holes. Inspectors here to check up on our progress. Hey. So that's all of the bevels cut. So that's the uh, upper the roof end. So we come down to the other end. 
So what we have to do now is drill the mounting holes for the base plates that we already have in the concrete slab. So it's just a simple fixture I've made up. Just has a fence along the bottom, clamps down, the fence holds it all square and we just bring it flush with the end and just pilot drill our four holes and then we'll run a quarter drill bit through and we'll probably do them all with a rotor brooch or something like that. So we were going to do these holes with a rotor brooch but I thought I'd give the step drill like a beehive type drill a, a bit of a try and uh, that's absolutely mowing through them no dramas. So yeah these for drilling purlins and really good these things, you get a good quality one. So we've got our mounting holes and our holes for the brackets for the girts down there and Uh, these ones still to go. So yeah, our, our drill jig's getting more and more holes in it. So we have holes here for to drill for a, a relief cutout uh, that we do at the bottom. And then of course the four main mounting holes. And then the mounting holes for the girts because we've got lefts and rights. We've got these two here. So that ensures all our holes are all on centre and in the right place. So we'll carry on. So we've got a bit of a uh, wasp nest happening up there in the roof. So that will take care of those ones at the end of the day, I think, in case we piss them off. Okay, we're just doing a bit of a layout, just so I don't bozo any of the uh, corner joints and lengths. So everything's, the angles, everything's laid out with string lines. And I'm just marking in the points where I have to do the cutting. And of course up here, just here, there'll be a vertical member comes down. And that's where the row of uh, north facing windows will run along the roof that lets the northern light, summer and winter sun into the shop. And then we've just got to cut that flush there. And that's the, one of the... Uh, I've got the sunlight in the camera so I can't see, even see what I'm recording. There's another plate, there it is. Fish plate there. I'll grab that. So that'll go onto there. And there'll be a similar one, which when we cut this joint, we'll tie all that together. So it's getting a bit hot today. It's uh, 33 degrees at the moment, so everything you pick up is rather warm. Now the ceiling height or the roof height looks deceptively low with these all these parts lying on their side. It is only 3 metre, 3.1 metre wall height on the inside. Now the reasons why I've gone for the lower ceiling is it's less of an area to heat, it's less of an area to cool, and if I want to get up and change a light globe, it's not a mission, and with air conditioning I can run ducting along and I'm not heating or cooling a, a roof space where I'm never going to use. So there's a lot of reasons why I've gone for the lower height ceiling. But that does come at a cost. It makes it a pain in the ass with craneage in the shop. But there's ways and we can work around that without a drama. So. Well, because it was such a hot day yesterday, I thought I'd get an early start in this morning, getting all these steel cut. 
that uh, light rains have come in, so you just can't predict our weather this time of year, so we'll just wait till the worst of it stops, and then we'll find some shelter in one of the other sheds if necessary, and carry on cutting. Well, the weather's not sure quite what it's going to do yet. Very cloudy, and uh, every now and then we get these light sprinkles of rain. So we've migrated over back into the poo shed again to do our angle cuts and of course the other end of the purlins we're just using the whole tractor there to support the end on my bodgy old homemade forks but they're doing their job. So we've got five right hand cuts to do and one left hand cut to do. So the first one on top there is a right hand cut and the one underneath will be a left hand cut and once we've cut the left hand cut we'll use that then as a template to cut the remaining right hand cuts because the beam will be flipped around the other way. So there's a cut to do at each end, an angle cut. So we'll get this one marked out and chopped through. So we have one left hand one cut now and one right hand cut now. So I might, you might see it now. If I drop a left hand on top of a right hand, we can use the left hand as a template to do the right hand cuts. So we've got another four to go over there. So this should make it a lot easier. There's a couple more ready to go. So we're still using our angle gauge that we were using on the columns, which is set to 14 degrees off the off 90. And we're still continuing our cuts with that. On these long ones, these are part of the portal frame, so it'll have a 14 degree angle at either end. Now, so it serves you a sort of a little bit of an idea. These, this is the one that we're doing at the moment. So this is the angle we're cutting right now. And then after that we have to do this angle. Um, the columns we did the other, other day. And this morning in the poo shed, we've done this one here. So that had the 14 degree one there. And then we had that um, 28 degree angle there to do. So on we go, on we continue. And the, the rain's holding out. Still got grey clouds everywhere. So fingers crossed I can get these cut cuts completed before the rain comes.
Yeah, well, I had a good look over the, that lathe and uh, she's been around the world a bit, but um, it's a good sized lathe. It's a 24 inch swing lathe, 3 metres between centres. Uh, the bed's not in the best condition, but for the price of it, it's pretty well scrap value price. So uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to pull the trigger on that one. Um, as it'll be a good uh, addition to the shop with some uh, upcoming jobs that I intend to put through that machine. So uh, a, a replacement one the same size over here I was looking uh, looking at a Ryazan, uh, same size, 24 inch lathe, uh, 3 metre between centres and that's 10 grand and I, I can't justify that at the moment so this one um, hopefully should fill the void in that area. So, And we also have another machine which I picked up too. Um, we picked up a reasonable size um, shaper. So we got that at a good, it was a good buy that one. So that, that's the old uh, shaper that was on JB from Oz, uh, his channel, which is the machine's currently residing at um, Bruce Witham's house. So we'll pick that one up in the new year as well. So. Anyway, take care, have a good one, and we'll catch you on the next video.